Hey everybody, Bama Cooley here. Behind me is the biggest damn truck I have ever reviewed. The 2024 Ford F-250 Shelby Super Baja. This truck is massive and we're gonna review it. We're gonna drive it. We're gonna give it the business and we're gonna have a good time with it. So come on, let's go. All right, everybody. Yes, this is an F-250. Yes, it's a Super Duty, but this thing is like a tank. It's obviously lifted, and we'll go over that in a minute. But just from the front, we got the performance hood with the functional vents. We got the racing stripes going across. This is the antimatter blue, which is a great color. It looks like a really dark blue or black, depending on the light. We got our amber markers here. We got Shelby and gloss black written here. We got the performance front end here with a lot of airflow getting into that diesel 6.7 liter diesel engine. Shelby installed a steel bumper here we got recovery points here we got a massive lot bar here which looks amazing especially in the b-roll of course we got our headlamps here and we got fog lamps here and you can't see it now but i'll show you in a minute we have another lot bar trail bar on the back that shines forward so this thing is ready for the trail whether it's day or not you'll be able to see every damn thing so let's go over and check out the side of this beast all right everybody now you can see also another angle for the size of this truck i'm five foot eleven i'm not a small guy and this thing makes me look like a tiny person so coming over here to the side of course you got your fender wells we got wheel liners in here 37 inch all terrains bf good wrench km3s sitting on 20 inch wheels these wheels look amazing you got the shelby emblem here and you'll be able to see this in the b-roll if you can't see it now but you have the adjustable fox factory racing series shocks you can adjust them right here you can also automatically lower them and raise them and there's a control setting in the front where you can do that but the shocks look amazing you see the massive coal springs here you got the fox reservoir here where you can adjust you got another one right there support suspension from bds going all the way back you got a shelby badge going here of course you got the huge mirrors this has ford right here because obviously this is the f-250 so there's a towing on this of course you got the antimatter blue coming back here this is on leaf springs but you do have the fox shocks and the fox reservoirs here of course here you got shelby right here and you have the two tire rack in the back because when you're in the desert and you're hitting the dunes you might get a flat tire you got two tires here to work with you definitely don't have to leave the trail now let's go check out the back all right coming around to the back of course you got two massive exhaust tips here you also have and you'll see it in the b-roll you got shelby super baja decals here of course here's your tail lights you got ford super duty going across here this should be blacked out in my opinion of course you can see the rest of the racing stripe come down you have your recovery points here you got your towing package here you got some rear fog lights here there's your tires obviously and of course it does have the rear window opens as with typical lariats and there on the back at the top you see the lot bar going across you'll see it in the b-roll when it's really on and it looks really good so the key fob is standard on this of course you're forward you know you got your lock unlock auto start and got your tailgate so you got your remote tailgate that you can this does have the spray in bed liner in it and of course you got your lights and your hooks and everything like that so this truck is definitely ready to go for any situation let's go in and check out the interior right now all right i'm not gonna go over the back seat it's like every other lariat of course you got the heated seats you got the shelby upgraded seats and everything it's like every other f-series back seat plenty of room everything like that this is a huge truck and unless you're shaquille o'neal you're gonna need some help getting in this so Shelby installed the electric steps to help get in. Let's go ahead and get in. All right, one of the things I pride myself on is I'm not just gonna go over the same stuff when there's similar things from other trucks or other F-Series trucks. I like to point out what's different and things like that of course like every other shelby we got carbon fiber all over the steering wheel carbon fiber going all the way through here we have the bno upgraded speaker system down here you do have the switch to raise and lower the fox shocks and we'll go over more about the suspension and the engine power when we get to the performance section you know it's like every other standard lariat right you got 360 degree camera 360 degree lighting all that going on you got a ton of space so there is one thing i do like about the super duties they put the phone charger the wireless phone charger vertical on this in my raptor it lays horizontal and it's just hard to get in and out and it's just kind of i don't ever use it i just plug up but i would use it more if it was like this of course right here on the center console you got plenty of 
storage you got some more usbs you got usbs here you got the carol shelby with the csm number here shelby f-250 super baja badging right there you got your 12 volt you got your 400 watts you got your trailer assist which this is f-250 so it still tows about 20,000 pounds with about a 4,000 pound payload and i might be even up to 22,000 pounds so not only can you go baja racing but if you want to just go ahead and tow another vehicle behind you to for a spare vehicle while you're out going off road then you can do that as well and of course it's got the drive modes too high four high four low doesn't have four auto but it does have the locking rear differential on this and you know this is a diesel so there is some you know different things about that uh, that we'll go over when we start talking about the horsepower and everything else like that let's go check out the engine this is the high output 6.7 liter turbo diesel 500 horsepower 1200 pound feet of torque this thing has more torque than, <laughs> uh, than you know what to do with 20 to 22,000 pound towing capacity. I don't know how much it changes based on the lift in this 4,000 pound payload. This thing is definitely ready to go. Obviously, it's not a speed demon per se, but when it comes to just raw power and raw pulling and being able to hit the gas and getting pushed back in your seat a little bit, it will definitely do it. And it's a diesel, you get great gas mileage. All right, everybody, on the performance side as well is all the Fox stuff you have in here. You got the BDS suspension lift in here you got the 2.5 adjustable fox shocks and adjustable reservoirs in the front and the back you also have fox radius arms up here that you can see from this angle right here so this thing is designed to be off-road it's designed to do some high speed off-roading as well as be a super duty truck so whoever gets this truck is going to be able to fill a lot of versatility and a lot of capabilities out all right everybody now we're ready to go driving let's give this monster a crank Definitely a diesel. All right, get the seat belt on. Let's get everything adjusted. Problem I have with reviewing new vehicles is that even with like my vehicle, it took me like a year of playing with the seat and the steering wheel and the pedal adjustments to figure out where the hell I wanted, um, wanted it to be. So as I was saying earlier, you know, this does have all the drive modes. It has eco, tow haul, normal, uh, snow and slippery and then off-road doesn't have sport but it's a 6.7 liter diesel with 1200 pound feet of torque I don't need sport I want to adjust the my view on this so that we see some of the diesel measurements and diesel gauges like we see the turbo boost the engine brake exhaust filter Let's go everybody. It does have a really nice heads up display. I got it set in the off-road heads up display because it tells me what the pitch and roll is. It tells me front and rear. It also tells me what the RPMs are, the drive, if I'm in four high or four low. Why am I in four high? Anyway. I'm in normal. I don't need to be in four high and I don't need my rear locker. This thing does have some torque. It's also, Fox uh, also put in a steering stabilizer in on this when they put in all the suspension and the upgraded shocks and everything. This truck is freaking huge. I got my lane keep assist on and it feels like I'm constantly fighting because I'm trying to figure out how wide this damn thing is and if I'm over the lanes, lines or not. So the MSRP on this vehicle um, with all the upgrades from Shelby I think it's sitting around 154,000. Um, obviously, it's a lot of money for a truck. Uh, <laughs> you know, all trucks are expensive, some more expensive than others, depending on what you do to them. But there's been a lot of work done to this. Like I said, not just from a cosmetic standpoint, but you got the hood, but you got the steel front and rear bumpers. 
got the upgraded wheels, the upgraded suspension, the lift. And then of course, then you got the cosmetics that Shelby does with the interior, carbon fiber, everything like that. I like to gun it a little bit here because I want to feel that 1,200 pound feet of torque. But the way these things are geared, you almost really feel, you don't feel the torque like you would in a normal performance vehicle. It's like the torque is, you know, it's like once you get into tow haul mode, and then you can like really, really utilize the torque for, for towing. I feel like I'm sitting in a monster truck. Like, you know, when I was a kid, Samson and Bigfoot were the rivals in the monster trucks. I was always a Bigfoot guy. It was a Ford. Samson, which lived down the street from me, by the way, was a Chevy. Um, and so that was a big thing. And I feel like I'm in, like, Bigfoot's little brother. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm in Bigfoot's 10 year old brother who's who's pretty big. Everybody knows he's going to be big, but he hasn't quite gotten there yet. <laughs> the suspension feels a little tight right now. Um, So I'm picking up a lot of the a lot of the road. I think you probably go in and adjust. I think they're manually adjustable. And there's lowering in here. But I think there's manually adjustable. Um, you can go in and loosen them up a little bit. Which, you know, for towing you want it tighter, right? But then like for everyday driving or especially going off-road in Bajan, you know, we'd want to loosen it up a pretty good bit. This thing is an intention grabber. Let make no mistake about it. It's the antimatter blue. It's big as hell. It's got Shelby badging all over it. It says Shelby Super Baja down the rear corner panels. I got two massive 37 inch tires in the back. get this up to speed and see how it does in the 70s cruising about 70 miles an hour 68 little bit of road noise just from how high and wind noise just from how high this damn thing is this being a diesel with you know with the fuel efficiency um, as long as you're not getting into the turbos too much, you could probably make this a daily driver. Just, I have a hard time parking my Raptor in some places. I couldn't imagine trying to park this. But, you know, if you were going to a off-road show, taking a long trip out into the desert, plenty of room, plenty of storage, like every other, you know, full size F-series, uh, plenty of creature comforts. You could definitely do a long travel in this. I also think too that the tires are a little overinflated. You know, they come overinflated from the dealership. So I think the tires are a little overinflated, which is causing the, uh, causing me to pick up a lot more of the, the road and the bumps. So I would probably definitely first thing I would do would be lower the air pressure of the tires. I do love the antimatter blue though. It's a great color. You definitely feel like a boss driving this. How hot it sits up, seeing all the venting on the hood with the performance hood, all the functional venting. <laughs> Definitely feel like a boss. And 
Yeah, this thing drives great on the highway, especially when you get on the smooth roads. Like I said, the tires are a little overinflated, probably adjust the suspension a little bit. This thing would drive like a Cadillac. I'm passing all these full-size trucks, and I don't know, they just look a lot smaller. Feel it, <laughs> seeing them just look like they're a lot smaller than what I normally see. You got a farm and you want to do some high speed off roading as well, this is a perfect truck. It'll tow whatever the hell you want, uh, and then you can take it off roading on the weekends and do whatever. I do really like how the 20 inch wheels look on this with the all terrain tires, 37 inch tires. Um, I think they're a good color. Of course, you got the Shelby Snake in there, which looks good. Turn around here, and I'm not gonna go down the side road where we do a lot of pulls and stuff, but I'm gonna, as I'm turning around going back down the highway, I'm gonna make sure I um, gun it pretty good. I wanna feel the torque. I wanna feel the torque kick in. I wanna feel the turbo kick in. So we'll stop. I don't need a ticket from any state troopers. All right, let's go. So we start out there. Now we're going to gun it. Yeah, so there you feel. So just to let you know on the turbo boost, it got up to 34 pounds of boost when I was watching it here. So I'm looking at the diesel measurements. I'm looking at the turbo boost, the engine brake, the exhaust filter, and it got up to 34 pounds of turbo boost. And now we're comfortably cruising at 70 miles an hour. This does have the 10 speed automatic transmission that most every Ford has, but you know, this is definitely a good powertrain with a 6.7 liter high output. Like I said, 500 horsepower, 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Of course, I know every time I give it the gas and I see that boost pressure go up, gas mileage goes down. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to head back and do the closing and we'll check you out in a minute. There you have it everybody, the Ford F-250 Super Duty Shelby Super Baja. This truck is massive, it's powerful, and I don't know a damn thing it can't do other than maybe fit into a tight parking spot. Special shout out to my friends at Woody Anderson Ford. Go see them if you're in the market for any Ford, whether it's a Mustang, F-150, whatever it may be. Give Phil Henderson, who's a friend of mine, a call. He'll definitely hook you up if you want this truck or if you want another truck. So be sure to give him a shout out. Also, be sure to check out my videos to the left. And remember, if you catch yourselves in the back roads of Tijuana and you have a fun car or truck to drive, go ahead and give it the business. Have a good time with it, and we'll catch y'all later. Have a good one, everybody.